What's up guys? Welcome back. Johnny here. And in today's video, we're going to go through my Financial Freedom Can Be Easy ebook. Just for you. It's 100% free. So sit back, hang out, grab you something to drink, and let's get started. So, I created this book to help people just like you escape the 9 to 5 rat race. Financial Freedom Can Be Easy. And I even have an Investing for Beginners Facebook group of over 80,000 members currently that think and want to know information just like you. So join the conversation if you haven't already and let's get into it. Table of Contents, this is what we will learn in this video today. What do you want to achieve? And how to create small steps that will get you there. Live beneath your means. Always keep moving forward. Always save some of your money. Create an emergency fund. Invest after you build your emergency fund. Diversify your investments. Diversify your income sources too. Get out and stay out of debt. Final thoughts, review your goals often. So for some of you who just needed a real quick breakdown, that is going to be it. And for everyone else who's curious, let's get more in depth on each one of these. So success, go get it. What do you want to achieve? Here's a cool exercise. Think about what you would do if you had no limits. If you had all the money and time in the world, where would you want to live? What would you want to do with your life? What would you spend the most time doing? These answers can help you figure out what you want to do with your life. You will want to think about these questions every day and imagine what you want to achieve. Answering these questions will help you to understand your personal wants and needs. Planning, setting, and accomplishing your short-term goals is the easiest way to reach your overall milestones. Take baby steps when creating goals to maximize productivity and overall satisfaction. 2. Create small steps that will get you where you want to be. Becoming financially independent isn't a single goal, but a series of sub-goals. This is because your financial life has several aspects. In order to reach your overall goal of financial independence, you'll have to establish goals in the various areas of your financial life, such as increasing your income, controlling your spending habits, paying off debt, understanding your investment objectives, planning your long-term financial goals, it's important that you create a list with a corresponding goal relating to each individual category. That will ensure you are moving your entire financial situation forward rather than trying to do it one category at a time. 3. Live beneath your means. In the single step that will provide most of the spare cash you will need, in order to accomplish most of your other steps. Learning to live beneath your means is one of the main goals to learning how to become financially independent. If you're currently struggling with your finances, there'll be no easy way over this hurdle. You'll probably have to cut out every expense in your budget that is not absolutely necessary. It could include passing of the annual vacation every year, driving your car until it breaks down, even after you paid it off, living in your current home, even though it's starting to get smaller, and buying your clothes from thrift stores while everyone else shops at the mall. That's just a short list of the sacrifices you'll have to make, but in making them, you'll be saving money in your budget to actually start building your savings to get out of debt and to invest in your future. 4. Always keep your career or business moving forward. You can give yourself a major assist by making sure you increase your income in the future. 
If you can steadily increase your income while keeping your spending levels low, you will reach all of your financial goals much more quickly. You can keep your career moving forward by keeping your work skills sharp and increasing your value to your employer. You should put yourself in the mix of promotions where possible and be open for better opportunities with other employers. If you are self-employed, always push yourself and your business forward to reach the next level. A common expression that I hear is never settle for less. I agree with that statement in the sense that you should never be too comfortable with your current situations. You should always find a way to improve yourself and your surroundings for the better. Work hard, dream big. 5. Always save some of your money, no matter what. Don't be one of those people who says it'll start saving money when I make more money. Or I can't save anything, I can barely pay my bills. The solution, you should always be saving no matter what happens. The best strategy to saving is paying yourself first. By doing this, you will never have the excuse that you did not have enough to save. Make it a priority. If you don't have enough room in your budget to save money now, then the answer is to increase your income, lower your expenses, or both. You will never change your life until you change something you do every day. The secret to success is to have a strategy that works for you and to incorporate it into your everyday routine. Never let excuses stand in your way of saving money. It's a long-term goal that starts today and never stops. 6. Create an emergency fund. If you have to live paycheck to paycheck, your first savings goal should be to create a safety net. You can do that by creating an emergency fund. Your first goal should be to accumulate a sufficient amount of cash to cover 30 days of your living expenses. Once that achieved, you should add another 30 days of living expenses. The account should have between 3 to 6 months of living expenses if you're a salaried employee, and between 6 to 12 months if you are self-employed. Life is full of surprises, and it'll be a good idea to have a stash of cash in case of an emergency. Emergencies like getting laid off, car breaking down, child needing urgent medical treatment, or just the good old unexpected bills every month. The need for an emergency fund is extremely important because people get sick of working for their tyrant bosses, and want the financial flexibility to walk out the door when they can't stand the frustration anymore. No emergency fund, no walking out. That simple. 7. Invest after you build your emergency fund. The single step that will provide most of the spare cash you need in order to accomplish most of the other steps is learning to live beneath your means is one of the main goals to learn how to become financially independent. Once your emergency fund is adequately stocked, you can begin thinking about investing your money. That is important because investing is about using your money to earn more money. The larger your investment portfolio becomes, the closer you get to financial independence. As a beginner investor, you might not have the knowledge or experience to make investments possible, but that's to be expected. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Before you make your first investment, it's a good idea to spend some time building financial investment literacy. Look into getting guides to investing. Fill out your Amazon cart with a few of the best investing for beginners books. Subscribe to personal finance blogs and podcasts. Play around with small micro investments and generally aim to build up your understanding of how investing works. This will help you gain confidence and the ability to make sound investment decisions. A. Diversify your investments. The best way to protect yourself against unexpected surprises is to diversify your investments across several different sectors or categories. 
you should have a certain amount of money invested in stocks, index funds, fixed income investments, gold, P2P lending, real estate, and REITs, or real estate investment trusts. This will help keep you safe from taking a big hit in the event any of one of these sectors crashes. Investing can and should be fun. It can be educational, informative, and rewarding. By taking a disciplined approach and using diversification, buy and hold, and dollar cost averaging strategies, you may find investing rewarding, even in the worst of times. Diversify your income sources too. Number nine. Just as you would diversify your investment portfolio, you should always diversify your income. If you already have a wide network in your immediate area, reach out to people and let them know about what you're offering. Perhaps you know a ton of dog owners that need pet sitters and walkers when they go away on business trips or several small business owners that have websites in need of improvement. Anything is possible. Here is a few ideas to get you started. Lessons, writing, resume help, coaching, consulting, tutoring, babysitting, social media management, write an ebook, sell stock photos, create a t shirt. The biggest thing to realize when looking to diversify your income is that you're in control. You don't have to rely solely on your job for income. You can branch out in many other ways, especially when you take side hustling into consideration. 10. Get out and stay out of debt. It's hard to make a case for being financially independent when you owe money to the banks or other people. You should have a goal of getting out of debt as soon as possible. You can have different time periods for getting out of debt with each debt category. For example, you can eliminate your credit card debt in one to two years, your student loan debt in three to five years, your mortgage in 10 years. That's not an overnight solution to your current debt problems, but this allows you to set baby steps to heading in the right direction. Once you pay off your loans and credit cards, you should try to stay out of debt as much as possible. Always strive to evolve your strategy as you grow. Seek advice from industry professionals and others who have been in similar situations and continue to educate yourself on the most up-to-date debt management tools and theories. Creating strategies on how to stay out of debt from the beginning is the best way to protect yourself. 11. Final thoughts. Review your goals often. In order to become financially independent, you will need to become fully committed to your plan. You should have a written plan that includes goals for each financial category and plan to review them annually. The purpose is, one, to make sure you are on the right steps to achieving your goals and, two, to keep yourself focused on the ultimate goal of becoming financially free. This is an incredibly important, it's very easy to get sidetracked on the road to financial independence. For example, you may find yourself getting very comfortable about two thirds of the way there and starting to spend more money and saving less. Think of it as an affirmation in which you renew your commitment. You should do this at least annually but in reality, you should do this every month. Becoming financially independent can be easy. You just need a detailed plan and a commitment to stick to it. Use this list as a guide and adjust it to meet your own goals. You'll get there. Don't give up. Hope you enjoyed the audio to this ebook. Financial Freedom Can Be Easy by Johnny Insignius.